Hello and welcome to a new video about the electric field. Today we're gonna describe it mathematically. Already wearing the correct t-shirt for this property. Look at that. Nice formulas. And first video talking about the first formula. And saying you see this formula and of course everything is told, right? Yeah. Looking a little bit complex, but I'm going to explain it, alright? I'm going to explain the content of the first formula is the Gauss's law, this is called. Uh, what is inside there? So, actually, we're talking about the electric field. And we said, uh, charges are the source of an electric field. Uh, so, let's say we have somewhere a charged particle, a charge, here. That's it, red dot. Uh, it's not design award, it's the red dot Q. <laughs> the charged, the charged particle Q. Yeah. And now, what is the electric field? Yeah. We can think about that the electric field is somehow, this Q is the source of the electric field. All right. So, and this, this source, this, 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 this electric field, this is spreading in the world, starting from our, from our, uh, charged particle and spreading out in the world and, and populating the world, if you want to say it like that. So it is, it is flowing. It's some kind of flow. Yeah. And this flow, this is away here from this, from this positive charge. It is flowing away in every direction possible. As soon as there is nothing in the way, it will flow and distributed in, be distributed in the world. And actually, this is also, the, the, it ha is not really something flowing, it just helps us, yeah? Imagine this thing, yeah? And this flow, yeah? this, that, that, the electric flow, electric flux, it's called, yeah? This is actually, that, the local representation of, of my electric field. Okay. So let's say we have somewhere here a window or a, a, a small, a small area. Call it delta A. Okay. Small area. Then a part of this flow, of this Q flow is also passing through here. So we have here here, look how it's whoosh, 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 here, the flow from here is, is from, originated from the Q, is somehow also shining through this window, and this flow, this is a sign, like that, yeah, so it's a trident, to rule the seven seas, you need the electric flux, <laughs> no, it's not a trident, it's a, a Greek letter uh, called Psi. Or psi, maybe it's pronounced in English psi, possible. Uh, psi, uh, by the way, in my, in my research, how it is done in English, those, those things, those special namings and so on, I found that in English, at least in, in, in Wikipedia, it described a little bit different. Yeah, but I will stick to this way of describing it, because I think it's an easier approach to this. Uh, so, Psi. Uh, this Psi is the electric flux. Mm -hmm. And as long as you don't need to time travel, you don't need a flux compensator. <laughs> uh. All right, electric flux. Okay, and this electric flux shining through this little area here, huh? this has a certain density. Okay, so there is, there is a density called D. It's the electric flux density. And it's clear that D equals the flux Psi divided by 
the area where it's shining through. Hmm? This is delta A. Hmm? This is the density. How dense is, is the flux there? Right? And now we come to the point. Now let's we come to this point. Hey, look, look, the D, D is already here, huh? Flux density. Here we have it. All right, and those little fellas we don't know right now. Now we're talking about a surface which is closed. So I'm not talking about a little window, we're talking about a closed surface here. This is the surface A. It's a closed surface. And this closed surface, I mean it's clear. You know, I said that the charges are that the sources of the electric field. Now you have a source of an electric field and you make it closed. You close all the charge in there. Yeah. How much of the charge's flux will appear or get through this closed surface? All of it, of course. Nothing will stay inside because it's spreading in the world. All right. So as soon as you have a closed surface, the flux through the surface is equal to the contained charge. It's obviously clear that if you have a, a, a well, yeah, a spring, a, a, a source, yeah, and you cover this, you fully cover this source, the all what is emitted by the source will appear somewhere distributed, yeah, but regardless of the form, regardless of the form, because if you would make the surface like this, for instance, do, 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 here, make such no I, I've not said that this this is must be a, a closed hull or, or a sphere or something like this. No, it's just a closed surface because then here we're getting out, we're getting in again, so we are at zero, but then we're getting out again. Alright? So things from inside to outside will count positive and things from outside to inside will count negative. Yeah? And then that's there is this rule, yeah. If we do summarize the flow, the electric flux, yeah, this is the, the, the surface flow. So the surface on the full cover, yeah, that it's the sum of all flows of this A, yeah of the whole surface, summed up all flows of this whole surface. Huh? Or, and the sum of all flows yeah, is the contained, is the sum of all contained charges inside this surface. Okay? That's it. Huh? The sum of all flow is the sum of all charges. So this immediately gives us also the unit. The unit is here Coulomb. Yeah? One Coulomb and this is one ampere second. Yeah? That's the unit, Coulomb. The same unit as the charge. Because the flux through a closed surface is equal to the charge inside. And so here we have here one Coulomb per square meter or one ampere second per square meter. It's for the electric flux. And if you want to write it, by the way, if you want to write it with this with this flux density, you know, then you have to write this equals the sum. of the flux density multiplied yeah, delta A. So you are, sep you are 
separating this closed surface or substituting this closed surface with a lot of small delta A's and you summarize all those flows through these little windows. And then it's the sum of all sum of all fears, the sum of all charges. Yeah? This here is called Gauss's law in English. In German it's Satz vom elektrischen Höhlenfluss. So we don't bring the Gauss inside there, we say what it is, which is often it's longer, but it makes it clearer what it is. Yeah? If you just hear Gauss's law, you need to know what Gauss's law is. If you hear Satz vom elektrischen Höhlenfluss, how Höhl, Höhlenfluss, yeah? it, the name gives you already a hint what is behind. Electric field. Yeah? So that's it. Yeah? That's actually it. And now we have a D. We have this D. This, this is, by the way, exactly what is written here. This is Gauss's law. Written with a little different symbols. Yeah? We have here a nabla operator. There's a differential operator. And we have here, we have here the, the, the flow density. And this here, this here actually should be a row in my small row, so this is the density, the charge density, and this term here describes somehow, this nabla in D describes how, how distributing this field there is, yeah, how, 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 how good it will expand there, it is expanding at this, at a certain point, yeah, this is described by this, yeah, so how, how, outgoing <laughs> that the field is and this equals the local density of charges uh, this is what this is uh, so this is exactly this yeah so this is describing how how expanded this thing is and this is the charges contained in this uh, so this is more local this is you know this is university mathematics yeah and this is mathematics we are able to understand with our knowledge right now. Now we have this D, right? Well, we can calculate the D, yeah, we know the charge and we can calculate the D. Well, afterwards we'll make an example. Oh, let's start the example right now. Let's say we have somewhere a charge, Q. Here, yeah, Q, the charge. And then we have a sphere, our closed our closed surface is a sphere. AS, yeah? sphere. What is, the what is the surface? 4 pi r squared. Here we have a radius r of the sphere. This is a closed hull. Huh? How much is the density here? Huh? How much is the flow? The flow. Huh? Phi, huh? in this case, is Q. The sum of all Qs inside this is Q. Huh? And this is the, the flow through our surface. Huh? So what is then our density, flow density? This is Phi divided by a sphere. So it is actually q divided by 4 pi r squared. That's the density, the flow density, at a radius r around a point-shaped charge. And now, now we have this d. Yeah? But we always wrote E, the electric field, in volt per meters. Yeah? How do we get to this volt per meters? There is a rule. There is a relation between D and E. And this D equals E multiplied by epsilon zero, this is called. And epsilon zero 
equals 8.854 10 raised by the power of minus 12 yeah. that's the value and now let's think about let's think about the unit here we have volt per meters here we have ampere second per square meter what do we need uh, well I, I need one meter more I, get, I need to get rid of, of the volt uh, and I need ampere seconds uh, so it's ampere seconds by volt meter that's the dielectric field constant of the empty space so if the space is empty no air nothing vacuum yeah, then this is the relation between d and e right dielectric field constant permittivity it's also called yeah and has this value that's a constant value and it seems like in English speaking countries or at least according to Wikipedia they will divide here they don't do this electric flux density there I like it because it's one step between and and it's simpler to, to remember so because now the electric field E equals D divided by epsilon zero so we have if we are using this as d yeah we have q divided by 4 pi epsilon zero r squared that's the electric field around the point shaped uh, charge now we can calculate the electric field caused by charges. That's it. That's it. Gauss's law. Fundamental principle. One of four fundamental principles found by Maxwell, Clark Maxwell. Uh, there are four of them. We will get to the others. We will get to the others. Uh, and then we can describe electrodynamic phenomena. <laughs> By the way, Clark's equations are one of the few equations which are not touched. They are exact. Yeah? Not even relativity. Einstein could, could mess up, mess them up. They are en poids. <laughs> Electric field. Yeah. Next time we're going to talk about, uh, you know, electric field. Now we know there's an electric field. But we have also seen in the previous video that there are forces in electric field. Next video we try to, to calculate this force. Yeah? Also a law. Yeah? We'll see a law again. Yeah? Law and order here. More law than order. For this time, thank you very much for listening. Goodbye.